Hey guys, it's the Bingo's Adventures back with another view of but like I said in the last video, we got another shout out and this is by I'm sorry if I pr mispronounce your channel name. Um but Miss Kalani Hollyfield. I'm sorry if I mispronounce your channel name. Um, thank you for the comment. Like I said, I will do shoutouts whenever I can for these videos because I feel like when it it brings the community together and and it just shows the community that I care for for like commenters and viewers and that your guys' opinions matters as well. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get head on straight onto the video. Like I said, please comment and then I will shout you guys out um, when I can. So I will see you guys in the next Betty Boop short. So see you guys in the, in the review. Okay. We are going to do Betty Boop's Crazy Inventions, Betty Boop 1933, and guys, this, this definitely was a nostalgic watch for me, because I watched this short all the time when I was little, because I had one of those DVDs with the classic cartoon collections. Some of them were, now that I remember, there was like one that was just really, really racist, and I'm like surprised it was on the DVD. I'll have to talk to it whenever I'm back on Twitch and, or do more live streaming so I can explain to you what I'm talking about, but for right now, I can't do that right now because internet problems please read my community post for you guys to understand but um yeah we are starting out this short with betty boop in this big tent um showing off different inventions we have one where she does a spot remover which actually cuts a hole in the spot which i feel like that's just a waste of clothing in my opinion like it would have been just better if it was like why 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 are they cutting out spots it's gonna show like a bigger spot like i don't get it it just shows a big hole in your clothing that is one thing i didn't get when i was little i was like what the heck is going on and then we have a, a controversial one because it's not good it's got not good but it's the next invention is like a cigar like thing that people like um you know so stuff doesn't burn down um which is not good please do not smoke cigar kids Please do not smoke cigars. I'm sorry, but please do not smoke cigarettes. They're not good for you. Um, and the next invention is a soup, like, some kind of soup spoon, which some of these are, like, I feel like the spot remover wouldn't work because it just puts holes in clothes, and that's gonna even make it more noticeable um and then like the cigar thing that's gonna head out to the door and then we have this one um invention where it can be useful like for messy eaters especially for like little kids who like to um sip on soups and stuff um, which is, like, some kind of music box in a, in on a spoon, which, like, I feel like that only, could only work for little kids. Um, and then we have, like, this typewriter thing for corn, which is not gonna be useful. I don't get it. And then I believe... There was, like, another invention I forgot. And then we have, like, this sewing 
thing that just goes crazy, and I remember this short, um, and it just goes crazy, it just goes crazy, like, the, 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 the sewing machine goes, starts sewing people together, and, um, sews the tent together, and it escapes on the outside, and sews, like, a river and the ground together, I don't know, I don't know how it does it, but it does, it must have, that, that sew, sewing machine, is OP, it's overpowered, like, it is, it is, it's, it's, it's a powerful, um, invention, and, yeah, Bimbo and Betty escape, because one of the birds, because there was a bird in one of the rivers that got sewn up, flies up, Catches the tent that the inventions are in. The tent goes flying up in the air. Bimbo. Oh, by the way, Bimbo and Coco was there. But Coco, I believe, was the one that made the sewing machine go crazy. So I blame Coco for this. Um, and Bimbo and Betty escape. Um, using an umbrella, the umbrella breaks, but somehow he turns the umbrella into, like, fan blades, and then they, like, fly off into the wind, and then that was the end of that short, and I'm like, you cannot tell me that they are not somewhat of a couple. Like, they... I feel like Coco... Bimbo and Betty are like a couple. Like those three were the original couple. And then since Betty Boop became more independent, she forgot about poor old Coco and Bimbo and just works on, work, does her own thing, which I am proud for her. For I've, I'm glad that she's like, and by the way, this this short was definitely oh I for the invention I forgot before we end this that was like that is that is like way ahead of its time like we have like a voice changing recorder but it was like one of those old recorders phonographics I believe they they're called and you put like uh, those big CDs in there. I forgot what they're called, but, you know, those big CDs, record player things, um, and it changes the voice. But, like, especially now, with what is going on with AI and everything, like, it's just crazy. It is just crazy how accurate that sounds to like what what is going on for nowadays. Um, but I've, I'm I'm going too much on the short. Um, I will see you guys next week with two more Betty Boop shorts. So yeah, I will see you guys next week. Bye.